What is going on YouTube? It's Joseph Wells and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my morning routine. And this is my morning routine and how I spend time with God and why it's important. So I hope that you learn something from this video. I really do. I hope that you learn why it's important to set time aside with God and maybe start to implement some of the stuff that I'm gonna share with you or do something you know, in your own way. So let's get right to it. I don't know about you, but I'm an early riser. I love to wake up early and you know, I like the quietness, the stillness. And I feel like for me getting up early and spending time with God, I get more done in my day. So the most important part about getting up early is that I prioritize the Lord before I go to the gym, before I do to-do list, before work, everything. And that is important. And we'll talk about why that's important here in a little bit. I also, I don't look at my phone. I think that's very important because when you wake up and the first thing you see is your phone, it becomes a distraction and it starts to derail your focus and take your eyes off of the Lord because you're going to start scrolling, you're going to look at emails, you're going to see text messages and that stuff can distract you and it can just ruin your day, especially if you're looking at work emails or anything like that. And that's why it's important to not look at your phone when you first wake up. Put your phone aside, turn it off, put it on, you know, do not disturb. Have it away from you if it is a distraction because you don't want it to derail your focus when you want to, you know, spend time with the Lord because then it's just, you know, it's going to cloud your mind. So I do two things when I spend my time with God. I read my Bible, I journal. And then I also do a listening prayer. And the listening prayer is the best thing I've ever learned. I actually learned it when I was in a small group with my wife from church. We had some friends invite us. And that small group has been transformational because I learned about this listening prayer. And it is about quieting your mind, your soul, your spirit, and allowing God to speak to you. And then having a two-way conversation. And I'm let me tell you, my relationship with God has become more intimate and has become deeper. And that's what it is with God. It's a relationship. And I really hope that you guys learn something from that and start to apply it to your own personal lives because you actually get to hear God speak because he wants to speak to you. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. And uh, I can even reference another video for that. But let me show you the two things that I do and let me explain it in a little bit, in a little detail here. So. As you can see on the screen here, I have an outline of what this looks like when I journal. I like to date it so that I can look back on it. Then I write a prayer, a small prayer to the Holy Spirit just to, you know, to invite the Holy Spirit and his presence. And then below that, I will write the, the chapter and the verses that I'm reading for the day. And then below that, I will write the verse that I feel God is highlighting to me. And then I write out the verse. And then I write out an application and I ask the Holy Spirit, how does this apply to me? What do you want me to get from this verse? And then I'll write down what I have received. And then lastly, I write a prayer. And then I just um, end it at that for my journal. And so you might have guessed it though. This kind of reminds, this might remind you of the um, acronym SOAR, which is Scripture, Observation, Application, Reflection, or Prayer. But I do something a little different. I just use the acronym SAP, and that is Scripture, Application, and Prayer. But you can do it however you want. So let me share with you what that looks like in a little bit more detail. So I'm reading, let's say, chapter 7 of Ecclesiastes, and I will go through the book and see how many chapters or how many verses there are. And there are 29 verses, and I'll just cut it in half. So I write down the halfway point, and... Usually, the halfway point might go into another verse, so I'll just stop before the halfway point if it goes into another verse, and I'll show you what that looks like on the screen. So, the halfway point is, you know, let's say it's there's 30 verses in that chapter. Halfway point would be 15, right? But because 15 goes into another passage, I'll stop at 14, for example, okay? I hope that makes sense to you, and so you can see that on the screen as well. And the reason we are reading half a chapter is because we want to fully digest what we're reading. You know, have you ever had that moment where you were reading two or three chapters and you're like, okay, what did I get from that? Or I didn't really understand it. 
Yeah, we don't want that. We want to actually read to hear God. We want to read to understand what God is saying to us. So it's important to like take bite-sized pieces so that we can actually digest what God is telling us. So the goal is to read to hear. And that's something we're learning we learned at our small group is you want to read to hear what God is saying to you. Remember that every word on the page that you are reading is God speaking. But more specifically, what is God saying to you in that half chapter? That's important. You know, sometimes you might have to reread the chapter two or three times before you feel like you found a verse that God is revealing to you. And that's okay. I've done that many times. And so that is what that looks like when we do our reading. And I hope that makes sense to you. Next, we're going to talk about the listening prayer, which is what I briefly mentioned a little bit ago. So like I mentioned, this is the best thing I have ever learned and ever, you know, applied to my relationship with God. The listening, the listening prayer is about having a conversation with God and listening to what he is saying to you because God is always speaking. But the problem is that we are not always listening. So this becomes a dialogue. Usually as Christians, we struggle with the dialogue because we don't want to wait. We don't want to sit in stillness because we're impatient. That is our nature. So this is about being patient, letting God speak to you, having a conversation with him and making it a dialogue. No more monologue prayers, conversations or anything like that. This is about listening. That is important. So here's how that looks. I'm going to share on the screen with you uh, my notion productivity app. I love this app because I use this to document my listening prayers. So I have a, a template that I use when I do these prayers and I usually just fill it out and you can see on the screen what that looks like. And I'll do my best to share that template with you. That way you can download it. I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but I'll figure it out and hopefully I can offer that to you soon. But on the screen, you will see how I outline this. And on this outline, I have, you know, confessions, which is about repenting from your sin. And then from there, I go on to gratitude. And then I go into asking God to speak to me, ordering my day, and then personal requests. And that's where you get to ask God things and ask him so that you can hear an answer from him. And so as you can see, that's how that looks. Now, I won't be able to go too much in depth on this because there's so much to unpack there, but you can definitely read a blog post that I made on this, or you can visit a video down in the description where you can see what this looks like when it comes to hearing God. But this is how, you know, I talk to God and hear from God himself, and this is something you can do too. And as I mentioned, it has been absolutely amazing and so enjoyable to hear God's voice because we all want that, right? We all want to hear God, but we don't know how to do it or we just don't have the patience. And so it has been amazing. And like I said, you should definitely check out my blog posts where I talk about that. And then in the video in the description where I share with you how you can hear from God because you're going to want to listen to that and you're going to want to learn how to do that, especially because it's your birthright to hear from God. So just to recap what I've shared with you so far, you know, how I spend my time with God, I read my Bible, I journal what I've gotten from that reading, and then I jump into my listening prayer on my Notion app. And let me say something. I started out doing the listening prayer on my journal, but it just didn't feel efficient for me. I didn't really like it so much. And so I started using my computer. So there's nothing wrong with using your computer. God's not gonna condemn you. There's God's not gonna judge you for using your computer or electronic device. Just stay focused and get right into it. And I promise you, you will love it. And especially if you are using your computer because you can type with your eyes closed and you can just like receive what God is telling you and just type it out. And it's perfect and it's very, very efficient and I love it. So. I really hope you learned something from this morning routine I have. I hope you found it interesting and maybe implement it yourself. If you don't have a routine with God right now, I want to encourage you to start a routine because God wants to spend time with you. And I think starting your day with God just prepares you for the day ahead of you and 
He just wants to spend time with you. Just like the way you want to spend time with your loved ones, God's the same way. He wants to spend time with you. So I hope you got some from something from it and start to prioritize God in your life. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get more of Jesus out there on YouTube. But if you only crushed that like button, I'll settle for that too. If you want to learn more and how to hear God's voice, then check out this video here and you can definitely learn what it means to hear God's voice. And also visit the blog down below in the description. That way you can get some more information on that. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. God bless.